This is the men's elite race at the UCI Gravel World Championships in Veneto, Italy. Fresh courses for 2023 provide significantly more climbing with 1,900 metres of elevation gain over the 169 kilometre long course. At the 78 kilometre mark, approaching the 1.2 kilometre long climb of Cadel Poggio, a trio of riders move to the front. Matte Moric from Slovenia, Florian Vermeersch from Belgium and Connor Swift from Great Britain. What an attack on this steep slope with a 12.5% gradient. Forming the chase group are Paul Voss from Germany, Spaniard Alejandro Valverde, Keegan Swenson from the USA and Italy's Alessandro De Marchi. Over the next 70 kilometres, the gap constantly grows, sometimes up to almost four minutes between the leading group and the chasers. At the 29 kilometre to go mark, the leading group has a gap of three minutes and 52 seconds. The climb at San Villaggio has a gruelling 16.5% gradient and Morick launches his attack. The Mish is desperately trying to keep up with the Slovenian and we have our first victim, Connor Swift from Great Britain, unable to keep up with the pace and is almost grinding to a halt. Morick looks like he has great legs today. Almost effortless, he pushes himself up the steep climb. Connor Swift still has a four minute gap to the second chase group, which he now needs to defend until the finish line. And into the technical single track. Florian Vermeersch shows how good of a technical gravel rider he is. Morick desperately trying to cling to his back wheel, slipping and sliding through the mud. Eighteen and a half kilometres to go and the Slovenian has had enough. That is a very dangerous situation now for Vermeer. She is falling back. Morick is pushing really hard and there's a significant distance now between the two. It's an 11 second gap. This could be a race winning moment. The Belgian is trying to strike back, but Vermeersch has an issue with his chain. What an unfortunate moment for him. He puts it back on, but has lost all momentum. 6.6 kilometres to the finish line for Morick and a comfortable gap now of 46 seconds. All he needs to do now is play it safe. But he throws caution to the wind, cutting corners. Oh, and he's down. What is he doing? He's getting back on the bike. What a moment for Morick. But his advantage over Vermeersch is too big as he approaches the finish line in Pivi de Soligio. After 169 kilometres, he finishes with a time of 4 hours, 53 minutes and 56 seconds and claims the rainbow jersey. An incredible 18 kilometre solo by the Slovenian. Here comes Florian Vermeers. He's put on a good show and a well-deserved second place for the Belgian. And in third, Connor Swift brings it home for Great Britain and rounds out the podium.